Hey everyone, another short video on the 92 Honda NSR 250R SE. Uh, body fairing, just trying to get rid of some road rash. I bought the bike with the road rash on it, knew it had some. Uh, some of this is decal and some of this is white ABS formed at the factory, as you can see. But um, I'm actually just doing a bit of uh, spot work. I don't want to replace major things here since they're original. And I'm okay with some minor scratches and so forth. But I wanted this, this one panel with its matching sister panel that goes here. Uh, had the Honda logo across it kind of in this area. And as you can see in the shadow, maybe there's uh, the Honda letters underneath there. The H, you can see the left where I took the sticker off. Just so you know how I took these things off, the stickers, uh, hair dryer helps a lot. Heat gun helps as well. Just be careful with the heat gun. You, know, uh, you can melt this plastic pretty fast. But um, I did use a razor knife, like you clean your uh, registration sticker off your window with. But I used it at a really low angle with the heat gun going, and I lubed it up with a little bit of WD-40 so that I didn't bite. Um, to be even more, actually, most of it, well, actually, after I got the blue sticker off, it was a blue sticker, kind of this blue, and I used a plastic scraper that I made out of a piece of, uh, like, sign that you get at the hardware center. Uh, you know, those for sale signs. This is a handicap sign. But then, I, you know, I used that to scrape it off. Uh, one thing that worked really well for getting the glue off is our trusty old gum out carburetor cleaner. Now, I wasn't sure how harsh it would be on the plastic itself or any paint, so I'd be cautious. But since I'm repainting this, and sanded it anyway. I wasn't worried about a little bit of surface damage, but as you can see, the gum out on a little paper towel, I set it down on there with the gum out on there like this and just held it for a couple seconds, and then came back with a plastic scraper and that glue came right off. And then I just washed it with a degreaser and an alcohol. And you can see my little bit of road rash here that I'm gonna be fixing. I'm gonna uh, use this and fill it with a little bit of epoxy that I've been using. As you can see over here, I've already done some repair work on the sister panel and it came out smooth as a baby's bottom. So that came out real nice. Um, you know, a little divot there and divot up here, but uh, that came out nice. I'm not sure if the epoxy is the best choice, but it's what I had right here and I live too far away to go get something else. And I'll probably uh, dig into figuring out some plastic Bondo or, you know, Bondo that I know will work on this stuff well but that is pretty easy to clean up a little bit of epoxy in there and then i am having some of these decals recreated so if anybody has any questions on that i might be able to get decals for you since i've already spent the time and energy on the artwork and the setup and so forth but these all these decals could be replaced so i'm probably going to do this one since it's got some decent scratches in it and i think that's where i'll draw the line on this and then i'm just going to paint this section right here. I taped it off to the contour of the decal. It's a trickier decal because it contours this one, but I didn't want my paint line to be too noticeable so it'll kind of follow the line of the decal. And I already found some white paint that's close. The best you can do is eyeball it and it's for plastic, but uh, just thought, I hope it helps. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.